Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com on a rainy Fort Lauderdale day on a new launch from Fontaine Peugeot, the MY4S. This is a cruising couples boat and about a 20 knot boat for cruising. So let's put it through a full features inspection and see how they've done. Now let's start with the interior because rain. Door opens like this and we have easy access to the interior, but we can also expand the opening a little bit by bringing this door all the way over to this side. Now this gives us a nice opening, but we have an added opening to the galley area. Let's try it a different way. Bring this one over and now slide them both on over to this side. Now what this does is give me an opening that shares the seating in the inside with the outside. Now I've got an opening that's 69 inches, 37 at its nearest, right here at the corner of the bench. And a roomy interior, nice high headroom, beautiful natural light coming in from all of the windows surrounding the entire space. Seating starts with a bench over on the starboard side and then it wraps around to another bench just ahead of that. This is all wrapping around a table that is expandable with two leaves that open up. I also noticed that this table is on a high-low pedestal so that we can drop it down, make this into another berth if we have to. And directly across is the galley area. Plenty of open counter space, storage, double basin stainless steel sink, a two burner electric stove, and then there's storage, storage, storage. There's additional storage up above. There are even one, two, three in-deck storage areas because remember, catamaran, the usable spaces are over to the side where we have the cabins, so that leaves the space right in between the two hulls for storage. And there's even more storage underneath the helm seats. Now let's talk about appliances. We could put a microwave here, but this customer didn't request it. There's a refrigerator that goes right down below, and this customer also requested a TV in this position. I would rather have a drop-down one so that it's not interfering with the view of my sunset. Overhead is an opening sunroof with a sunscreen. We can open up the port lights, the overhead skylight, and of course the aft doors and ventilate this whole deck, or we can close it all off and have the air conditioning going. Now one other thing, I can't help but notice that Fontaine Peugeot went to the extra effort to maintain a neutrality regarding the fit and finish. There's whites, beiges, earth tones. They left it up to the owner of the yacht to bring out their own colors because that's a personal choice as you make your way around the world. Additionally, we have a three stateroom yacht here. We can go with a four stateroom, two head. This one is three stateroom. The master is over on the port side, so let's start by taking a look at that. Oh, now I should say that the owner just took possession of this yacht, so like the TV, he hasn't moved his own personal belongings in yet, so there's no bedding on any of the beds throughout the yacht, so bear with us on that. Now I should point out that because this is the master, we're able to close this whole area off with a sliding door. Pretty cool. Let's start with the berth, located aft. This is actually quite a roomy stateroom. It has nice high headroom. Hull side windows have two opening port lights. Cubby over to the starboard side. There's additional storage underneath the berth. And it's full hull width. You can just make out the curvature of the hull to the sides of the berth. Moving forward, there's a love seat just underneath the hull side window. There's an opening port light for ventilation. And then we've got a hanging locker directly across there's a mirror on the back of the sliding door to close off the master stateroom and then just forward there's a doorway leading into the head compartment now this storage area can be optioned out for a combination washer dryer and then the head compartment itself which has the water closet and then the shower this part right here is a structural bulkhead so if we were to make this into a four stateroom yacht this is where the door to the fourth stateroom would be now over to the starboard side we have two guest staterooms let's take a look We'll start with the aft stateroom. Has a privacy door. Berth is mounted along the keel. Goes out to the full length of the hull. There's a hull side window with two opening port lights. Curtain pulls across for privacy. There's a hanging locker just forward. As we come out, the head is next. Has an opening port light for ventilation. An electric flush toilet. It's a fiberglass sink with storage underneath. And this is a wet head. Directly across, 
There's a refrigerator freezer with one, two, three, four compartments, the top one being the freezer. And directly ahead is another guest berth. This one's more of a trapezoidal design that narrows at the front. There's another hull side window with a single opening port light. And again, there's a curtain that slides across for privacy. There's both a hanging locker and storage alongside the berth. Overhead is a hatch providing more natural light and it can be closed off for the privacy shade. Swim platform is hydraulic, so we can use it for launching a PWC or a tender. There's a tow rail at the trailing edge, add a little bit of safety to it. And speaking of safety, take a look at this grab rail coming out from the transom. To the starboard side, there's a reboarding ladder. It's four steps and I like how the rails come up nice and high to aid in reboarding. And just at the entrance to the cockpit is an electric grill. We access the cockpit from stairs to both port and starboard, but the seating is offset slightly over to the port side, so there's a narrower entry to port than there is to the starboard side. And the seating consists of a U-shaped seat that will wrap around an optional table. We can convert the seating into chaise lounges or a double wide sun pad. I have to appreciate how roomy this cockpit area is, plus there's a nice high overhead and notice there's an optional shade that goes onto the back. Plus I can speak from experience, when it's raining, it keeps this whole area dry. Of course we have another social zone up in the bow with the sun pad, 97 inches wide in each of the chaise lounges is 77 inches long and they can lay, either lay flat or ratchet up into position. In the center is a teak tray with beverage holders. Now notice at the top of the overhead, we have these rings and then just forward, we have sockets that will support stanchions so we can put a pop-up sunshade in this whole area. I have to say, there's an awful lot to like about this boat from a cruising couple standpoint. The width is almost half the length, which will give you an idea of just how much space there is in this boat. And because it's a catamaran, there's so much storage going throughout this boat. In addition to that, I took this boat out in about four to six foot seas and came away with some really interesting handling notes in those conditions. But you'll have to look for that in our performance evaluation. That's another video, so be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full features inspection of the Fontaine Peugeot MY4S. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.